Uh, today I plan on installing Windows 10 on this Dell Latitude D630 on this hard drive from that random netbook, assuming that works. 32-bit, because I tried 64-bit before and it didn't work, and then I realized the CPU was not 64-bit last time I tried this. So I'm going to swap the hard drive over, and I'm going to try to install that as soon as my installation media is done. This is the original hard disk with Windows Vista, and it's 80 gigabytes, and it's still in good condition. But I don't want to wipe Vista off of here, so we're going to install it on the other hard drive. I'm going to see if that hard drive will boot into, like, Windows XP in a minute, just because it's on there. I don't know. We'll find out, though. Huh. Everything about this BIOS actually says it's a D620, so maybe that is what it is. I don't understand how it says D620, and the case is just D630. Something weird is going on. The hard drive's detected. That's good. And it seems we have Intel 945GM graphics. But our CMOS battery is still good. Alright, let's see. Does it want to boot Windows XP or is it going to crash? Because I'm still waiting my installation media for a minute. I'll just wait a second. Is it going to crash on us immediately or is it going to actually load? I'm slightly curious what was on that netbook hard drive. Because this is one of my only th machines I have that would work with like Windows XP in the first place. Huh. Alright, so it's done with the check disk thing after like deleting files or whatever, and it's, um, hmm. Huh. I don't know if I'll be able to get past that. It seemed to get mad at me for typing the wrong password in too many times, I think. No, no. I don't know this password, so I'm just gonna wipe this thing. I don't really care. Here we go, it looks like. Last time I tried this, I was accidentally using 64-bit installer, which isn't going to work on a 32-bit CPU. So it just, like, would kind of crash once the Windows logo appeared, and it'd be white and orange lines, which was no good. So I'm going to try to wipe this hard drive, and it would install Windows 10 32-bit. Okay, let's see. Do I get to wipe the drive, or is it just going to install it on here as is? Oh. Maybe I can do it on there. Yeah, there it is. Windows XP and etc. I, I can't even log into this, and the data is not important, so I'm just going to wipe it. Alright, drive swiped. I actually wanted to install Windows 10 on this thing last summer, but because of my incompetence of not realizing this was a 32-bit CPU, an Intel Core Duo T2300, I wasn't able to do it. But, here we go. This is going to take a long time because I'm using a hard drive. It's not worthy of my SSD, I'd say. Uh, I'll cut back to whenever we're done. Alright, just rebooted. So I think we'll get to the setup. Dum Dum here forgot. It's just going to reboot and try to install itself again if I didn't pull the USB out of the end. So, <laughs> that's something. Okay, now we're for real. I'm just wondering about how drivers and stuff are going to pan out. Like, am I going to be able to get, like, a graphics driver? I don't know. Because I think it might be running in, like, a 4x3 aspect ratio right now. It took a very long time to get here, I'm going to be honest. No. Save me. Limited setup. Because it saves me from things I don't use. You know. The drill. Get rid of all of the extra stuff. And then once we get in, I'll connect to the internet for real. Ah, yes. Now I can connect to the internet in a minute. We're probably not going to have the best time with the T2300. And also this lies because it's not DDR. Well, now that I've connected to the internet, we're going to be on 99% for a long time while it updates and finds drivers. So, that's going to take a long time. To my surprise, the hard drive is in good condition. Not the fastest drive, but it doesn't have any errors going on. It might be running on SATA 1. Probably isn't a SATA 6 slot in this thing. Which, eh, whatever, it's a hard drive. And we're going to reboot for the first wave of updates. I guess. Well, maybe it's not rebooting yet, but it probably is going too soon. Alright, some more specs. 
here's our graphics, which as you can tell, I'm not going to get very far with that, and only DirectX 9. So I'm not even going to really test many games, I'm only going to test like Bejeweled Twist on here, because it's not going to get anywhere. And Minecraft definitely isn't going to open. And as you can see we have DDR2. We'll go through the rest of this, these specs, you can pause if you want to see those. There's our DDR2. When I was looking in here, slot 2 has RAM from 2010, so somebody upgraded this four years later. Which also means, and this one actually has better speed than the first stick, which is why we're running at 667 megahertz. So let's launch uh, Bejeweled Twist, I guess. I couldn't quite get all the updates to finish. Actually, I'm going to see the display first before I open that. I want to see how many pixels we have. It's a little bit hard to tell, if at all, but like, some of the pixels aren't in the best condition. Some of them are a little bit bright in a few areas, and like, right there, at that edge. It's a little bit weird. And things do not load very fast on here. Okay, so we get 1280 by 800, I guess. Um, a little bit lower than my other laptops, I guess. Except for a little bit more, like, on the second one. Which usually I have 7, 6, 8, or something. And our other stuff is just seems to work, so let's crank up the volume on this, like, single speaker before we load this. This should work. And it's finally starting. This looks weird on the camera. It looks a little bit better in reality. But it does look a little bit laggy. So we're able to even run this at the high settings, which is good. And because this screen is not slightly wider like my other screen, it looks a little bit less stretched out than usual. Let's enable that custom cursor. It seems like everything else is going to work, but it doesn't look like it's going to run that great. The speakers seem kind of loud, that's probably good. Oh, I missed the jump scare noise. That was going to be very loud. I forgot I muted. That actually didn't sound very good, and it looked a little bit laggy. But the game's definitely playable. The speaker sometimes sounds a little bit weird, but we also don't have the original audio drivers. We just have the Windows ones. The one on Windows Vista said, like, Sigma Tell or something, so... Yeah, I guess that's a visual twist. It works, you can play this. I think the only other test I'm going to be doing today is going to be YouTube. We did test this on Windows Vista, but this is going to be on Windows 10. Although I think we still have an update that's trying to run in the background, but like, it's just not going, so uh, yeah. But if CPU isn't being super high right now, which whenever we were doing Windows 10 on that other HP laptop, uh, the stinky one, it was just stuck on like 99% the whole time we were using it. Not that this is a good experience, but it feels a little bit better in some places. Let's get to YouTube in a minute. This keyboard feels pretty good, but the latency from trying to be on like the web browser is not super amazing. What's our CPU at already? Probably is already maxed out. Hey, actually, yeah, it's just about there. I remember being really high on Windows Vista as well, but then it comes right back down. Interesting. I'm going to turn this on mute first before I try to play a video. I want to hear myself over... I want to try to hear myself over that. Um, this is more of a real test. It's not taking terribly long. I'm going to give that a minute to buffer. Because we don't have a very good network speed, I don't think, right now. It's a pretty old Wi-Fi car in here, so there's a possibility of that being a possible bottleneck. Okay, I gave that a minute. Um, this is on 360p, which is what I kind of was watching on Windows Vista, and it seemed playable. And now it's just not loading for some reason. I think this is a lot worse, but we still might have a possible Windows update as well. 
kind of is choppy. This is without the audio. I'm sure that doesn't sound very good. Yeah, not very good at all here. Let's try to lower that a bit. Knocking that down to 240p, it's doing much better. But I was able to watch in decent 360p on Windows Vista, so... Um, yeah, I'd say we lose some performance on Windows 10 a bit. That or just... Maybe because of Windows updates or something, but... We're also on a different browser this time. We were using Supermium or whatever. Now we're using Firefox with an ad blocker. You can you could watch 240p YouTube, but not amazing. There was a lot of loading time on like web browsers and menus, etc. But I really don't think it's all like being on a hard drive's fault. But this thing does not really deserve an SSD because I think it might only have like SATA one. Oh. Yeah, the update's still kind of going, but it's only really it's mostly stressing out the hard drive. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna try this again once the updates are finished. Because it may have been hurting our chances there, so we're going to have this restart. Okay, I think the updates are finished after... I don't know how long. Let me mute that. It's going to be any better now. Um, I don't think so. It's on 240p. Sometimes it looks watchable. Just fine. Yeah, I think Windows 10 is just like removed performance. Okay, so that's installing Windows 10 32 bit on Dell Add to D630, D620. I don't know. Well, that went. Uh, interesting, I guess. Maybe we'll install something else on this later. I have no idea. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye.